So ma'am, may we ask, in a few months, five-day in-person classes are expected to begin. So in line with this, what are the preparations being carried out by the Department of Education? Thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. My buntag sa inyong tanan. Uh, we started with uh, the department order on identifying our school calendar and the implementing guidelines for school year 2022 to 2023. In that uh, department order, we already identified the next two years uh, period of uh, our uh, school calendars that of uh, 2023 and 2024 and 2024 and 2025. If there will be no surprises or amendments, uh, these uh, three school years will uh, continue on with the uh, following implementing guidelines for the next two uh, school years. And then uh, we also release our department order on the enrollment and uh, I am happy to share with everyone that our enrollment for the first day was at 3.3 million already as compared to our first day of last year, which was at 222,000 only. And then uh, we started with the checking of the inventory of the schools who were affected by uh, Typhoon Odette and uh, where they are now with their repairs and reconstruction of the classrooms and buildings that were damaged by the typhoon. And uh, we already talked to our finance strand in the Department of Education to look for savings from the past year and this year and request for the realignment of these savings to the repair and the uh, reconstruction of uh, these uh, classrooms and buildings that were affected by um, typhoons, Odette and Agaton. And whatever is remaining from, whatever is lacking from uh, these uh, repairs, we will request the Department of Public Works and Highways to assist uh, the Department of Education. And then we, in the same uh, department order of the school calendar, we instructed our regional offices to coordinate with their regional offices, counterparts of uh, the Department of Health, to continue with the counseling of unvaccinated families, particularly the unvaccinated learners and the teaching and non-teaching staff of the Department of Education that are un unvaccinated as well. And um, once uh, the counseling is successful, they initiate mobile vaccinations in our schools for those who have given their consent to be vaccinated. We also, in the same department order also, we instructed our regional offices to coordinate with their local mental health associations and their psychiatric societies to come up with a support, mental wellness support for our learners who, we, who for the past two years only knows of the online classroom and uh, now they are transitioning to our in-person uh, teaching. In the same department, department order as well, we introduced a transition period for all our schools, uh, we did not directly impose upon them to begin a five-day in-person classes uh, for their schools. We allowed them to conduct a blended learning mode, which, will, which is combined with um, in-person and uh, distance learning. And then uh, we are set to start, start our Brigada Escuela and uh, seek out our partners, private sector partners, and our adopt a school partners. Uh, we intend to start this on August 1. Everyone is invited to join and participate in your respective Brigada Escuela in your respective localities.
Ang dami, ma'am. Ang dami Wala pang one month? Ma'am, actually. <laughs> pero, yun na lang muna. Bravo, bravo. I think that's the benefit of having a former mayor for education secretary is the crisis response. It's also uh, immediately uh, addressed.